Good day everyone. Today we're going to tackle about the concept of general annuity. When we say general annuity, it is an annuity wherein the length of the payment interval is not the same as the length of the interest compounding period. Meaning to say, the mode of payment is basically not the same or different from the mode of interest compounding. Okay, for example, if you are investing in a monthly basis of 2,000 pesos and then it is compounded 16% in a quarterly basis. So this one is an example of a general annuity. The okay, second example is if you are investing on a quarterly basis or you are paying an installment basis basically in quarterly for 15,000 pesos and the mode of compound interest is semi-annual at 20%. So, basically, since the mode of payment is different from the mode of interest, so this one is also we an example of a general annuity. Okay, the question now is, how are we going to solve for the future value of general annuity? So we have two steps, two major steps that we need to consider. First is to calculate the equivalent rate. And then second is solve using the formula of the future value of ordinary annuity. So basically we'll be doing two major steps with two different formulas. Okay. As an example, say let's for say for example if we have here, Dan plans to invest 2000 every month. So basically, Mr. Dan wa has a plan of investing 2000 in every month. So the mode of payment is 2000 is in 12 months basis with 2000 as the investment. Then the rate, the rate of 12% compounded quarterly. So the rate of interest compounded quarterly is 12 for 5 years. 5 years is simply the time. What is the future value of this investment? So to do this, we need to first identify the given. Okay. First things first is we need to identify what is our regular payment. For this example, the regular payment is simply... 2,000 pesos so we'll write 2,000 next is to identify what is MP MP stands for the mode of payment so in this case since it is that it since 2,000 is compounded or invested in a monthly basis so MP will be 12 or m sub p next the rate sub i the rate is simply 12 percent 12 percent or in decimals this is 0 0.12 okay if you are confused with converting 12 percent to decimals so we'll just simply use the calculator, let's type 12 divided by 100 since percent is on the basis is based on 100 so divide 100 so we have 0 0.12 next is we need to identify what is M sub I or the mode of interest the mode of interest in this example is compounded quarterly Okay, when we say con quarterly, so meaning the M sub I is 4. Then lastly is the time which is 5 years. So we have R, we have MP, M sub P, R sub I, and M sub I, and time in years. Okay, next is we need to do the major step. First major step is to look for the equivalent rate, the ER. 
equivalent weight. So we will be using R sub P, the formula R sub P over M sub P equals the quantity 1 plus R sub I over M sub P or M sub M sub I raised to the power of M sub I over M sub P minus 1. So, we have no the formula. The, fir the first step is simply substitute the necessary values for each given. So, we have here, since we have M sub P, so we'll basically write R sub P over M sub P is 12, so we have 12. Next is, we have the quantity 1 plus R sub I is 0 0.12, so 0, so we'll write 0 0.12. Let's do this, let's erase it, this one, then write 0. 0.12 then we have m sub i is 4 so we have 4 raised to the power of m sub i is 4 divided by m sub p is 12 minus 1 then after substituting we need to divide this two numbers 0 0.12 and 4 so 1 plus so we'll plug in 0 0.12 so we have 0 0.12 divided by 4 so this will become 0 0.03 so 0 0.03 raised to the power of 4 over 12 minus 1 okay. next is to add these two numbers so basically 1 plus 0 0.3 is 1.03 then copy this and copy this 4 over 12 minus 1 this is R sub P over 12. Then to make the solution very light, so we'll just simply type all of this to get the R sub P over 12. Over 12. Okay, so we have press open parenthesis and then type 1.03 then power this one xy xy then open parenthesis 4 divide 12 4 divided by 12 then press 2 close parenthesis then minus 1 minus 1 then press equals so the answer would be 0 0.009916 so that's going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 decimal places it doesn't matter how much is the number of decimals but in my case I'll be using only seven but you can use as lengthy as you want or you, you can even copy this numbers so we have the rate is R sub P over 12 is 0 0.0099016 so we're done with step one 
the second step is to solve now for the future value so we have number two for the future value we need to use this formula of the ordinary entity f equals r times the quantity 1 plus r over m mt minus 1 over r divided by m so we'll have since r is the regular payment so you have here r is 2000 so we'll substitute 2000 pesos next is we have the quantity 1 plus r sub m instead of plugging in r and 12 we'll just basically use this rate here so 0 0.0 0 0 point zero zero nine nine zero series this zero one six zero one six then M sh the mode of mode will be the mode of payment the M that will go into substitute is the mode of payment which is 12 next is we have T is the time in years which is 5 5 then we have minus 1 then we'll just simply copy this 0 point zero zero nine nine zero one six next is after substituting we need to add these two numbers so simply copy all the rest of the numbers two thousand times the quantity one point zero zero nine nine zero one six raised to the power of twelve times five minus one then copy also the denominator zero point zero zero nine nine zero one six okay after adding we need to multiply these two numbers or we can simply calculate this one using our calculator but in this case to make it more clear clear and simple so we'll just simply multiply these two numbers so add this or multiply these two numbers and then copy all then the rest of the numbers zero zero nine nine zero one six twelve times five <coughs> is sixty minus one then zero point zero zero nine nine zero one six and then we gonna make use of our calculator so we have open parenthesis one point zero zero nine nine zero one six raised to the power of sixty close parenthesis then minus 1 
then press equals then divide the answer by this number 0 0.00 99016 then again press equals times 2000 2000 so the fund value or the future value will become 162823 point seventy pesos so meaning to say after five years of investing so the fire the future value will become one hundred sixty two thousand eight hundred twenty three point seventy now comment down below if you want to know more about general annuity or any topics related to general mathematics then don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you'll be notified with the new videos thank you